As someone who lives near the water, I am spoilt with the choice of which birds to watch and photograph. The ones that do get my attention are the shorebirds, from pied oyster catchers to stilts, sandpipers and godwits. But there's only one that truly catches my eye, and that's the big dog of migratory shorebirds, the Far Eastern Curlew. Eastern curlews utterly fascinate me, mostly because of their epic annual migratory journey. They fly non-stop from the east coast of Australia, navigating by using the sun, the stars and the Earth's magnetic field to eventually stop in the Yellow Sea, where they fatten up on the mudflats of northeastern China, prepping for the flight home. It's such an amazing example of the endurance and the uncanny ability of migratory birds to know exactly where their destination ends. When they return to Australia, they are completely exhausted with little muscle to show for all this hard work. They can't glide or soar like other larger migratory birds, so they have to flap their wings all the way. Photographing these guys is extremely challenging and frustrating, as they're very skittish, so it makes it hard to even get close enough for a decent look. The majority of my shots come from when it's feeding time, so either they're flying in or already at mudflats. One of the main areas where the eastern curlew refuels and fattens up is along the mudflats of southeastern Queensland, in particular a location called Toonda Harbour. Toonda is a part of Moreton Bay which is listed under the Ramsar Convention on Wetlands, which is an international treaty protecting important wetlands around the world. However, as you probably might have guessed where this story is going, there is a proposed development to reclaim the Toonda wetlands and build a $1.4 billion 42 hectare marina. So from this, to this. Discussions and environmental impact statements are still ongoing, but for it to even be recommended to a government for development approval is just baffling. But hey, I guess that's the price you have to pay for progress. Who are we to judge if someone wants to drink overpriced coffee in a trendy waterfront cafe on the bones of migratory shorebirds. The Eastern Curlew is one of the most amazing ultra-endurance athletes of the natural world. It's also critically endangered, having lost over 80% of its population in the past 30 years. There are estimated around 25,000 Eastern Curlews left, which, considering their dangerous migrations, is not a lot. So I guess this is what we have to do as photographers. We need to capture these animals in all their glory, highlight their abilities and behaviours, as well as the perils they face abroad and at home, before they're all gone.